Hi friends, now in today's video I want to talk about a problem or an issue that I see a lot of students who are pre preparing for competitive exams they face. So I have seen many times the students would come to me and say, Sir, I, a senior of mine is telling me to read in this way but I am more comfortable in studying in a different way. Or somebody will come to me just two weeks before the exam, Sir, somebody is telling me to do this, I am doing this, I, but I, I have never done this, what should I do? So I hope you see these are all noises that you know are coming out of your own insecurities. Everybody has to understand that whenever we you say this phrase people are telling me to do this it is actually your own insecurity which is laying you open which is you know making you receptive to everything and creating the chaos. So that noise of insecurity creates you know transmits into other people's mouths and they they start telling you things that oh, you should be doing this you should be doing this you should be doing this but actually everybody knows what he has to do you are, have to understand whenever you are targeting a competition or whenever you're targeting something which is uh, in the high achievement zone you have to you know trust your gut feeling trust your method trust the way you are instead of you know giving you know being insecure every time and when you become insecure the noise that you receive from outside increases and that creates the pressure and you do not know what is the right way to do the right way to do is what your gut feeling is telling you to do right way is about what you want from life not what others want you to do if i keep you know uh, listening to what everybody else wants to do is i can't you know one life is not enough to you know accommodate everybody's advices into it so and one life is not enough and you here we are talking about last two weeks before the exam so imagine a student who is two weeks away from an exam and he suddenly you know talks to somebody that i'm what should i do what should i do and he, he he or she tells him some new strategy and they decide okay from here onwards i will do something else in the last two weeks this is a big disaster happening here while if you are secure about it and how to be secure about it by repeatedly telling you that it is your dream it is the way whatever you are doing each one of us has his own method i hope you see that you know every one of there's no seek, uh, fixed strategy for everybody everybody has their own method somebody would be a more notes predominant student somebody would be a more mcq practice student you have to find what you are about and how that works in your system and then stick to it in the exam stick to it before one month before the exam don't do experiments based on what people are telling you in the last two weeks i hope that that creates the idea that the idea is that you have to make make sure that the noises that your insecurities are making have to be silenced before the exam the second noise that would disturb you when you are preparing for your exams or you are preparing for something which is in the high achievement zone is the noise of distractions now today we are all living in the world of distractions i would say that you know today a student has a problem not of you know lack of resources he has a problem of major plethora he has a you know wide variety of resources available in and wide variety of you know entertainment sources also available you know for example you know if i talk about a few years back or a few decades back people were worried that students who are studying for the exam would be disturbed by television today that television has multiplied into thousands of channels and that television has further amplified into you know internet channels available to mobile to social media to news channel you, you have so much to do but if you look at yourself again you will find that if there is something that you really really want to achieve you will have to silence this second noise this noise is noise of distractions you have to make make them silent and so that you can focus on your task you can't be distracted all the time you have to pay the price by avoiding these distractions now i never say you know my idea here is anybody who wants to come into this high achiever range in life be it an exam be it life you know there are prizes to be paid and that prize is not you know if there is something that you really love to do you know you have a hobby of painting i i i encourage it you know please go ahead and do it or if you have you know you know something you know that you want to do for family you know you should be actually doing it so if i say family if i say hobby you know you you should always have time for it 
But what about this random activities of watching television or looking at the social media profiles of others, you know, playing that Twitter thing and all that, you know, what, to what end? You, if you want to be a high achiever, you have to make sure that these distractions which are neither leading to, you know, um, a satisfactory hobby like pleasure to you or nor it is, you know, contributing to your dream, you will have to cut out on those activities. Now, the entire purpose of my video today is that people who are high achievers, they are able to reach to a zone of silence when the critical time comes. So when the critical time comes, be it an exam, be it an important day in your life, people who are high achievers are able to silence the two noises which are the most important distractors for our success. They are most important distractors. These are the noise of insecurity. And you have heard people say this all the time. People are telling me not to do this. People are telling me not to do this. People are telling me not to go ahead. That is noise of insecurity. And the second important noise is noise of distractions. You have to shut them all out and reach to a zone of silence. I have seen many, many high achievers in the last two decades. And I have seen each one of them, when they are reaching the exam, they are able to reach to this zone, zone of silence, where nothing else but your dream matters. I hope you can now tell yourself that I have to focus on my dream. It is my duty to focus on my dream. Nothing else would matter once you know that these are all noises, noises of distractions, noises of insecurities. You have to shut them all out and focus in the next two weeks and try to get, do the best possible for your career, to for your dream. It is your duty. I wish you all the best.